War is a racket. It always has been. A few profit, and the many pay. But there is a way to stop it. You can't end it by disarmament conferences. You can't eliminate it by peace parleys at Geneva. Well-meaning but impractical groups can't wipe it out by resolutions. It can be smashed effectively only by taking the profit out of war. I spent 33 years and 4 months in active military service as a member of this country's most agile military force, the Marine Corps. I served in all commissioned ranks from second lieutenant to major general. There are only two things we should fight for. One is the defense of our homes and the other is the Bill of Rights. For a great many years, as a soldier, I had a suspicion that war was a racket, not until I retired to civil life did I fully realize it. I helped make Mexico, especially Tom Pico, safe for American oil interests in 1914. I helped make Haiti and Cuba a decent place for the National City Bank boys to collect revenues in. The trouble with America is that when the dollar only earns 6% over here, then it gets restless and goes overseas to get 100%. Then the flag follows the dollar and the soldiers follow the flag. My mental faculties remained in suspended animation while I obeyed the orders of the higher-ups. This is typical with everyone in the military. We must permit the youth of the land who would bear arms to decide whether or not there should be war. The normal profits of a business concern in the United States are 6, 8, 10, and sometimes 12%. But wartime profits, ah! That is another matter, 20, 60, 100, 300, and even 1800%, the sky's the limit. We must take the profit out of war.